She was like the other kids. She brought a backpack and pencils to school, but she used them so much better than everyone else. Sarah Bolgia, a senior at Pinecrest School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, has had a passion for creating different forms of artwork her whole life. I know she had an early fascination with eyes. Now she draws pretty much whatever comes to her mind or whatever picture she sees that she likes. And sometimes when an idea comes to mind, a canvas may not be available. Sometimes when I realized that I couldn't find the time to make a piece of art on a canvas, I would just decide to sketch it out of myself. And it became a thing that people wanted to become a part of. Over the last few years, Sarah has progressed exponentially. Initially drawing cartoon characters, she now focuses on realism and surrealism. Her theme last year was the little things in life, and it's just so ironic that she put so much effort into the little things and made them big things. The piece that took me the longest was actually a colored pencil piece that I did recently. It was an image of a car wash. I'm quite the perfectionist, so all the little details and the bubbles and the soap of the car wash, they took me a really long time. <laughs> Through spending hours on each individual piece, Sarah's work has paid off. She is a recipient of the Gold Key Award, which grants her national recognition and potential scholarships. But behind every accomplishment is a hardship she has to overcome. The hardest part about being an artist is honestly setting aside time. Sometimes life gets super stressful and sometimes I don't feel like I always have the time to kind of let myself enjoy. So is it worth it? According to many studies, absolutely. Art and many other extracurricular activities or hobbies can help with anxiety and stress. What art allows you to do is really switch into being mode, being with the art, being able to be a little bit more mindful in the experience and, and be fully immersed in it. Besides being an artist, Sarah is also an avid athlete and a talented singer. According to one of Pinecrest's college counselors, continued commitment to extracurriculars can have a big impact on an individual's admissions decision. So colleges look at extracurriculars in terms of the admission process to really gauge what a student will bring to their student body. So the activities list really highlights the special qualities and characteristics and how a student, you know, spends their free time. Due to her talent, Sarah has many top level colleges to choose from. And even though she is still very young, she has a clear path for her future career. I want to pursue architecture. So I kind of want to combine my love for math and that sort of organized style and put it together with my creative side. Sometimes I do feel a little stressed out that my greatest talent is doing art and sometimes people in your life will tell you, hey, maybe that's not as solid of a job opportunity in the future, but I think it's super important that you don't let that go. For PCTV, I'm Alexa Sapero.